Thank you. Thank you so very much. And uh, <coughs> thank you, everybody, for showing interest uh, in, uh, in our country and in our uh, region. And first time in uh, Ireland, I came here to, uh, to get your knowledge and your experience on conflict resolution. Uh, I am uh, personally in charge of uh, Geneva International Discussions, which is the only forum uh, Georgia has with Russia, where we, where we are uh, mm -hmm. discussing uh, issues of aftermath of 2000, uh, 2008 war and uh, successful examples of conflict resolution, unfortunately, are not uh, much, and you are, uh, you are the one who can uh, uh, share with us your best practices and your, uh, your experience. Uh, the topic of, uh, uh, of today's uh, discussion is the challenges and priorities of uh, Georgia's foreign policy. Uh, to make a short, a long story short, I would tell you that uh, our foreign policy priority is to build European democracy in the heart of uh, Caucasus, uh, in a territory that uh, uh, lays between, East, uh, between uh, Black Sea and Caspian, uh, and uh, is in the middle of Eurasian uh, continent, and thus creates a, a crossroad uh, to connect south to uh, uh, north to south and uh, west to east. We are uh, for 25 years, and this year we will celebrate 25 years of restoration of our uh, independence. We are trying to build the European uh, democracy and find our our proper place in. Uh, in uh, 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 Europe uh, free, and I hope that will remain whole uh, in the future as well. Uh, so this uh, priority was uh, not uh, brought uh, by uh, uh, this or previous uh, political uh, the government or some small group of politicians. It's a truly a choice of people of Georgia. And that's something that uh, differs us from uh, other countries in our neighborhood. When Soviet Union uh, broke up, uh, we never debated which way to go, north, south, east to west. So there was only one uh, obvious uh, route that started in Tbilisi and uh, sooner, we hope rather sooner than later, will end up in Brussels. And I don't uh, see, think that uh, any democratically elected government in Georgia will dare to distract from this, uh, from this uh, Brussels uh, route. Uh, and uh, the public uh, and what differs us is that uh, our European agenda it has a wide public support. At all time, we are regularly conducting public opinion surveys, and recent polls uh, showed that uh, more than 70% are in favor of our integration. Actually, more than 80 are in favor of NATO integration, and more than 70 are, uh, are in favor of our integration with the European Union. Here, here I will try to preempt uh, one of your questions that will, will definitely ask because every time I'm saying that people of Georgia are looking for uh, integration with the EU. Why? Because when uh, more and more people are, uh, are showing uh, frustration in the EU and uh, even in EU countries, uh, its support is uh, shrinking. Why we are so anxious to, uh, to, join, uh, to join the club? First of all, uh, at this stage, at this stage, we don't consider EU as a institution, as an institution, but rather a set of values, a way of life, a way of uh, uh, building, uh, building the country. We same the share values, same culture, same, uh, same, uh, same, same aspirations. And our uh, working document, we call it association agenda with the European Union, is a uh, is a copy paste of our domestic uh, reform agenda. And whatever we are doing uh, in cooperation with the European Union, and the same applies to our working document with NATO. We are doing it not to please someone in Dublin or in Brussels or in Washington. We are doing it to please our own people, to build a democratic country, to develop a diverse market, uh, market economy, to uh, attract foreign investors come to Georgia and start business 
and more and more people are coming now, and to uh, guarantee, to observe human rights of our uh, citizens and to guarantee their security, uh, their uh, prosperity and guarantee territorial, uh, territorial integrity of our country. Uh, to, do, uh, to attract Europe for Georgia, the, which is a small dot on a world map, it will be very difficult. But what we can offer to Europe is a safe corridor for transporting uh, hydrocarbons from uh, rich uh, Caspian and uh, Central Asian fields to Europe and the rest of the world, to create a safe corridor for transporting other uh, goods and uh, commodities, the exchange of goods between West and East, uh, and the safe, uh, create a safe corridor and a safe barrier uh, to prevent Europe for, uh, from challenges emanated from Middle East and from uh, uh, from uh, Afghanistan and from uh, uh, volatile uh, uh, Asian uh, Asian uh, <coughs> Asian uh, regions. Uh, that's why it is in uh, our best interest to have a South Caucasus peaceful, and stable, and economically developed. Uh, developed. Uh, there are problems. There are challenges. There is uh, conflict in uh, Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, which was uh, effectively freezed for more than 20 years, but now melted and showed uh, signs of uh, dangerous eruption. Uh, our territories are still occupied uh, by Russia. We have not quite pleasant relations with uh, this uh, uh, country. Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan are at odds. Uh, but despite this, we managed to develop very effective uh, uh, trilateral cooperation between Turkey, Georgia, and, uh, Azer and Azerbaijan in order to ensure, ensure uh, this uh, safe corridor of, uh, for transporting a uh, wide variety of goods, commodities, and exchange of, inform <coughs> exchange of uh, inf uh, information. Uh, when uh, uh, civil war, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> Cold War ended, uh, everybody hoped that uh, Black Sea uh, will uh, transform for a dividing uh, sea between Warsaw Pact and NATO into a sea of uh, cooperation. And when uh, Eastern European countries, our Black Sea neighbors, Bulgaria, Romania and others, uh, fulfilled their immediate uh, tasks and became full-fledged members of uh, uh, NATO and EU, they started to pay more attention uh, to uh, to Black Sea security cooperation, Black sea security cooperation. A lot of initiatives uh, were uh, introduced, primarily by our Romanian uh, Romanian colleagues. But uh, as we observe now, uh, not uh, they are not uh, working uh, working properly. There were a lot of ideas. There were a lot of uh, uh, state and non-state actors uh, showing interest uh, in our uh, in our uh, region. Many international organizations, regional <coughs> groups, but all this uh, uh, create even more uh, more uh, uh, just uh, overcrowding and uh, the sense of uh, sense of uh, instability. And what uh, if we uh, look into history? The 21st century started exactly like the previous one. In 1914, there was a big war. Previous century started a big war in 1914, and this century started with war in Ukraine again in 2014, although it was preceded by conflict in by war by by war in by war in Georgia. But this, uh, and uh, uh, the primary objective now is to uh, to develop the common approach to our region, to the Black Sea, Caucasus, Central Asia, from the side of Europe, from the side of European Union, and from the side of uh, Uni United States, and find uh, and uh, join forces in order to ensure stability and security in uh, our region. Now. As of uh, our immediate priorities, uh, my, our country's immediate priorities, it is uh, 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 integration with the European Union. But when I'm speaking about integration, please don't worry. I don't have in mind immediate uh, uh, immediate membership. We know it's not feasible in a foreseeable future. 
who are quite pragmatic and uh, sober-minded. But we have a very extensive, uh, pro uh, extensive agenda, association agenda. Uh, last uh, two years ago, we signed association agreement, which is a 1,000 uh, uh, thick uh, document about the political approximation of our country with the European Union, and it has its, uh, it has its integral uh, attachment, uh, deep and comprehensive free trade area, which is uh, we, we are already implementing uh, most of its uh, clause, and quite soon it will enter into full force, and we will start its uh, uh, full uh, um, uh, full implementation. But uh, already with its partial implementation, our uh, trade with Europe has increased uh, by 15 percent. But it will take time. It will take time because the results of the CFTA it, uh, are not uh, that uh, will. Uh, be visible uh, and uh, tangible immediately. It needs time. It needs time for our small, small and medium businesses to familiarize with this uh, new, oppor new opportunities. That's why our government is uh, offering uh, this uh, mm, uh, so-called educational programs for people, especially living in rural areas, and for uh, small businesses how to use the benefits of. Uh, of, the, of uh, free trade with Europe. Besides uh, free trade with uh, Europe, we have the uh, same uh, arrangement with uh, Turkey and other uh, big uh, consumer market. We are having the uh, uh, same free trade uh, arrangement with our uh, neighbors from former Soviet Union, our main trade partners, Azerbaijan, uh, Kazakhstan, and uh, Belarus. Although the last two are uh, already in a Russian-led customs union, but they, what, when they were signing this uh, accession document, they stipulated that they, they will uh, retain with Georgia the, the free, trade, uh, free trade regime, which, uh, because it is in their interest as well. By the end of this year, we will uh, finalize our free trade talks with uh, China, Another huge market will be open for for us. All this, all this uh, creates a favorable atmosphere for foreign investors to come and set businesses and produce uh, uh, goods that will be labeled uh, made in Georgia and will have free access without any barriers and taxation uh, to this uh, uh, huge, uh, huge uh, consumer market. Uh, plus to this, uh, our reforms in the last uh, decade and uh, recently are primarily aimed, besides uh, building, building uh, democracy and observing human rights, are aimed to create favorable uh, atmosphere for uh, entrepreneurs, uh, for making uh, business, for starting a business. Our taxation system is quite uh, uh, flexible and unified, and we went even uh, farther now. We borrowed the uh, Estonian uh, example on a corporate uh, tax uh, uh, law, and we, are, we have abolished uh, profit, uh, profit tax. So if uh, someone uh, returns money, reinvests money in a business, it will not be taxated, only dividends will be taxated. It will uh, cause uh, some budget cuts in coming two, three years, but uh, after that it will uh, bring another uh, additional uh, income into, into, into our budget. So uh, Georgia is quite an uh, attractive country for uh, foreign investors and more on, uh, more and more uh, FDI is uh, is uh, is coming to uh, is coming to our country now. Another immediate priority with the European Union is to finalize. Uh, uh, well, we have already finalized the formal negotiations on visa liberalization, and now it's up to the. Uh, European Parliament and the Council uh, to, give a, to give a final green light and by our most optimistic prognosis already from uh, this summer we, our citizens might enjoy free travel in uh, Schengen zone. Sorry, not in uh, Ireland, but in uh, was, uh, was Ireland we are working uh, bilaterally 
to uh, to uh, to is exchange of uh, uh, exchange of uh, people between our two countries, which will bring you more closer, uh, Georgia and uh, and Ireland. So far, it's uh, now so far it's uh, rugby that uh, unites us, and uh, uh, but we hope to find some other avenues for future uh, for future uh, co uh, cooperation. On the side of NATO, we have a quite uh, quite a substantial uh, package uh, that is uh, our master master plan for uh, cooperation with NATO, and the core of this uh, package is to you know, uh, to further increase our defense capabilities and make our country more uh, resilient to modern uh, challenges. NATO doors uh, opened for us in 2008 when uh, in Bucharest the NATO pledged to uh, that Georgia will become member of the alliance. Now we are uh, discussing how and when it will uh, happen again. Uh, I have no illusion whatsoever that it's, uh, uh, it will happen in the nearest future, but uh, we are doing our best in order to be uh, fit and mature when time will uh, uh, be, will the political landscape in Europe will change in favor of our, uh, our um, invitation. But besides this, uh, we are acting in many ways like uh, members and uh, in most cases even better than some members were one of the more active uh, uh, troop contributors to NATO operations. Uh, in previous Afghan operation, which was ISAF, we were second largest per capita contributor to ISAF <coughs> operation by 2,000 troops deployed in Afghanistan. Now in the recent uh, resolute support mission, we are sec second after the United States textual troop contributor. Around 1,000 uh, soldiers are deployed in different regions uh, without any national caveats, which means that they can be used in any uh, risky operations that uh, uh, might take place. Uh, they might take place there, and we pledged that beyond 2016, if needed, we will uh, keep our uh, troops uh, there. We are also contributing to EU-led uh, crisis uh, management uh, operations in Central Africa and uh, in, uh, and in uh, Mali, and, and also we are a part of uh, NATO response force uh, for last year and, uh, and, uh, and uh, this year, which means that we may participate in Article 5 operations as well. So uh, all these are uh, uh, our uh, immediate agendas with these uh, two uh, institutions. And as I said, uh, it enjoys uh, high public support. But uh, uh, it cannot be taken for granted. This support needs uh, some sort of fertilization, some sort of encouragement, uh, especially now, especially now when uh, certain forces are trying to distract us from our European past. Uh, and uh, they are quite effectively using this propaganda machine, which works not only in uh, our country, but in Europe in, uh, and elsewhere in the world. Uh, and uh, what they are attacking, what they are attacking is not uh, uh, NATO and EU per se, uh, because uh, these are all trusted organizations that uh, nothing can challenge their reputation. But what they are attacking is uh, the perspective that, uh, uh, yes, uh, NATO is good, but uh, they <coughs> are not uh, uh, ready to give you even the membership action plan, not to speak about the invitation. EU is uh, good, but uh, EU is fed up with its own problems uh, and uh, is showing no interest in our country and in our region. So we are wasting time, we are wasting energy, so let's uh, abandon it, let's forget it, and let's try to mend relations uh, with Russia. Mending relations with Russia is another priority for our government. And this government did uh, uh, everything what was practicable in the current situation. I mean, I mean, in the absence of diplomatic relations, in the presence of Russian troops on Georgian soil, in the presence of three Russian embassies, in Georgia, uh, actually one is closed in Tbilisi, but two are opened in a, in a region in Trinwali and uh, uh, <coughs> in Sukhumi. But despite this, despite this, 
we tried our best and are trying our best to put into a civilized format our relations. Uh, actually, it was a former president that uh, waived the unilaterally visa for Russian citizens and a lot of Russian tourists are uh, cruising around uh, the country all year, uh, all year round, which is good. We never uh, made any problems from Russian business for Russian businesses to operate in uh, Georgia, although there was a total ban of any kind of contacts with Georgia starting even before war from 2006. Uh, this government, the new government that was elected four years ago, appointed special rep on talks with Russia, and thanks to their efforts, uh, we managed to, rest uh, to restore business relations, trade relations, uh, cooperate in the field of uh, uh, culture, humanitarian issues. There are more and more people to people contacts, cultural exchanges. But unfortunately, all this. <coughs> was not uh, translated on a political and security side. Russia still continues occupation of <coughs> sorry, <coughs> still continues <coughs> occupation of our territories and I wish it was all in only occupation but now uh, what they are doing they are trying to uh, smartly and smoothly absorb uh, Abkhazia and South Ossetia into Russia's jurisdiction. What I mean absorb they don't need to use openly force like they did it in Crimea. Uh, they used these troops once in 2008. They are still there and showing no signs of withdrawal. Uh, on the other contrary, they are constantly upgrading it uh, with new state-to-the-art armament and not only defensive but very much offensive. They are keeping 10,000 troops, both in Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and the composition of the troops and the, the numbers of uh, hardware uh, definitely indicate that all this is not to intimidate Tbilisi. It's to create military superiority in a larger, in a, in a, in a larger region. Now they are tabling, uh, and the mere presence of uh, uh, their troops is enough to pose a threat to local de facto admin administrations and they are uh, tabling uh, uh, different uh, documents, treaties, uh, agreements and by doing so they are trying to create the common uh, economic, defense, uh, security, social, cultural space to fully harmonize local legislation with uh, uh, Russian one and uh, if uh, nothing is done in three years time uh, from a legalistic point of view, we will have exactly the same outcomes that we have in Crimea. And our work, our case is even more dangerous than the Ukrainian one, or because the Ukrainian one was visible, it was live broadcasted, what was happening in Crimea. But in our case, no one is interested. Uh, signing document is not an issue for uh, uh, breaking news. Uh, and it develops without visible symptoms. But when the illness is found out, it is already terminal. It's too late to do something. That's why it is uh, enormously di di difficult for us to raise awareness and alarm uh, of international organizations and our and our partners. But still, still we don't see any other way but to uh, to continue our our dialogue with Russia, there is no alternative to dialogue and we want to build as pragmatic as possible relations. But our pragmatism, of course, will not uh, cross uh, our uh, red line, which is our national interest and which is our territory, uh, territorial integrity and the choice of uh, Georgian, uh, Georgian people.